Yannette here from Lucid Pen. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make these binder rings in Keynote. And everything you need to make this is right in this program. Um, so let's get started. Let's go ahead and create a new slide. And what we're going to do first is add a shape. We're gonna use this rounded corner square. If you'd like to zoom in a little bit, that way you can see better what you're doing. Um, and we're going to get rid of the sides here until it's completely rounded off. So there we go. Now we're going to give it some color. You want to fill it in with a gradient. And we'll start with the color white. And the end color is going to be, mm, let's say, a gray. This is gray 7. Okay, then what we want to do is change the angle a little bit. And this is, of course, all personal preference. Um, you can make it straight up and down. You can make, I prefer it at a bit of an angle. Um, so usually about 294, that's good. And I just lost my screen. Okay, now we're going to add a circle. Um, and usually it's a little bit easier if you come over here to arrange and constraint the proportions. That way when you're resizing stuff, you don't lose your shape accidentally. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this to the back layer so I can actually better fit it to where I want. There we go. I think that's good. Okay, let's go ahead and change the color to this. So we'll go back to style fill gradient and we're going to use a darker gradient for this i'm going to go with black and for the second color i'm going to go with let's say this this is gray six okay then we'll go back and play around with the angle again um, it's a little harder to see it when you choose such dark colors but you can kind of see it moving around there so i want mine about there towards the top Okay, now I keep doing that, sorry. Um, so now we'll go ahead and copy and we'll paste. Let's take this to the back so we can see it. And that, that was pretty good alignment there. So there we go. Now we will go back to the center and what we'll do is give this a drop shadow. So we'll select shadow here and we'll go with this one right here, which gives it a shadow towards the bottom as if the lighting was coming from the top. Okay, now we'll add the one last shape, which will be a circle again. This one, we don't want to, um, we don't want to constrain the proportions because we are going to squish this. Okay, this is going to be a highlight, okay? And if you need to, if you're having a hard time um, if you have your guides selected, um, you want to make sure that you have the center one so it centers it for you, but the spacing and the edge guides, you want to take those off. Otherwise, it's going to be very hard to get it just in the right spot. Okay, but that's about good. And we'll go ahead and change the color of this as well. So we'll go back to style, um, fill, and we'll do... We'll go ahead and do, let's do a light gray instead so it's not too, too bright. Okay. Next, we're going to um, group all of these items because one, now that we've, we're all done, we're going to go ahead and copy them over and over again. So with one finger, you can select an item and your other hand, you can select the next and you can group. Um, it gets a little complicated sometimes. You can... Um, fat finger this as I like to call it but if you can get them that's great and the computer is a lot easier but on the iPad eh. okay so now what we want to do is copy and paste and you can go ahead and space these out as you like um, you can go ahead and start grouping resizing them a little bit copy paste and repeat the process Hold them both, group, you shrink them down a little bit more. We can copy, paste, and so on. You get the idea. Let's do that one more time. We can group it, copy, paste, and 
we should resize those. Let's shrink them up a little bit. We are centered. There we go, we're centered. And now all you need to do is add your page. Let's take that page to the back so we can actually see what we're doing. You always, you wanna leave a little space in the center so it actually looks um, like, a, like a binder. Copy, paste this on this side. We'll do the same thing. We'll take this to the back so we can see what we're doing. And ta-da, you're all done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please follow along for more tutorials to come. Thank you.